If I could redesign the world, what I would do is ask this very question to children and youth living all around the world in community centers, in schools, in refugee camps. In fact, this is what I've done. As part of the Youth Task Force over the past year, we've engaged thousands of youth from all around the world on this very question and presented their ideas in Davos at the World Economic Forum and as contribution to this Global Redesign Summit. I would also like to share that I believe some key messages we need to focus on in redesigning institutions are one, that education should really have a student-centered learning approach. We really need to think about what motivates and inspires learners so that they feel empowered in the process of their own education. And two, in the area of healthcare, what I feel is critical is to take a prevention focus. How can we actually promote a culture of healthy choices starting in our youth and adolescents? And the third key thing is really looking at how decision-making processes are designed in a way that is inclusive, with dignity at the center and at the core. And in my 10 years of experience with Taking It Global, I've done a lot of work and outreach consulting with youth and trying to help youth voices really influence decision-makers, and I'm excited that's happened here in Doha.